Hey guys, and welcome back to Mother's Barbecue. It is game day again, and for this game day, I'm going to be making homemade bratwurst. So stick around. So to begin our uh, our broad here, what I have is uh, about a four pound pork butt that I cubed up, and I also threw in about a pound of um, cheap bacon that had a lot of fat to it. So the idea of this is to get some some more fat into the into the meat, and also this is uh, the bacon's been smoked by hickory, so it's going to get a little bit of hickory flavor in there. So um, it's also been in the freezer for a couple hours to get it somewhat hard. It's easier to grind that way. So let's get this to the grinder. All right, so now that our meat is ground, um, by the way, I did use the coarse ground um, blade on this. So the next step is I have my seasoning mix. Um, you can check out the link or the description below for the actual ingredients but there's rosemary, sage, mustard, salt, some cayenne, um, sugar, black pepper among other things. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get this tossed in there. Now another trick I heard too is you can add a little milk to this like a quarter cup to a half cup of milk. I've seen water, cold water what I did is I actually made a paste here of uh, some water and some uh, garlic cloves that I just blended up. So I'm going to go ahead and add some of that into here. Alright, so what I got here is some 100% uh, natural hog casings. I ordered these through uh, Eastman Outdoors. Um, they look like, uh, here's what the package looks like. You can get them in the fibrous casing for salami, the sheep's casing, and then obviously it's the 100% a hog. So I let these soak. These are actually been soaking for a few hours now in hot water, and then I rinsed them several times in cold water, and then I also flushed them with uh, cold water uh, several times to open them up. And uh, we'll go ahead and get these strung onto the stuffer here, and hopefully we'll get going. So here's my first link. Um, it definitely took two hands. I had the wife coming up to help me. As you can see, I started out, it wasn't looking too good, but as I got pretty much used to the way it was coming out, I was able to get the right, you know, start filling them up and pressing them the way I like them. So, and twisting them. So, I mean, this is my very first time making sausage, so. I think they look pretty good. So I'm gonna go get the rest of the meat stuffed um, and then we'll get these in a container and let them sit for all those seasonings to uh, to meld in there. All right, to get our brats cooked here, what I got here is a few tablespoons of uh, some butter. I got two red peppers, red bell peppers and uh, one yellow onion, thinly sliced. All right, to this I'm gonna add about half a teaspoon of some um, coarse ground pepper. About a quarter cup of uh, apple cider vinegar, about a half a cup of brown sugar, and 
And I'm gonna go ahead and add about, or two bottles of uh, a good amber dark beer. So this is Fat Tires of Belgium. Two bottles. All right, so here are the broths that we have. They've been uh, sitting for a few hours in the fridge. We'll go ahead and get those in our, uh, our beer mixture and let them cook up. Mm -hmm.